Hello everybody, good to see you. Today we're going to talk about coplanarity. We are going to control these two surfaces at the same time. Then we are going to use this symbol and then we are going to write 2 multiplied by that. It means we are going to make a midplane for these two surfaces and then based on that we are going to define two parallel surfaces to that midplane with this TZ 0.06. And these two wavy surfaces should be in that TZ. If I'm going to highlight just one surface, as we can see here at the top, we can, we can see we are going to control just these surfaces. If I'm going to refer just to this surface, as I'm going to show, we are going to control the shape of that surface. But whenever we are going to write, for example, two surfaces or two multiplied by this, let's say, feature control frame, frame, we are going to control both of them at the same time, as we can see here. Based on the midplane, we are going to make two parallel surfaces, and these two wavy surfaces should be in that TZ. Let's compare flatness and profile of surface. As we can see here, by flatness, we are going to do control the flatness of each surface separately. As we can see here, we are going to control the flatness of this surface, and also we are going to control the flatness of this surface, and they are not related to each other. But by using profile of surface, I'm going to check coplanarity. These two are related to each other. We are going to make midplane for those two wavy surfaces. Based on that, we are going to make this TZ. Let's compare here. If I'm going to check flatness of one surface and profile of surface for one surface, they have exactly the same meaning. We are going to have two parallel surfaces and we have the same TZ. They have the same meaning for one surface. Here again, we can see we are going to control the flatness of these two surfaces. It means this surface separately, we are going to check this wavy surface and we are going to check this wavy surface. But whenever we are going to use this profile of surface and write two surfaces, it means we are going to check coplanarity based on the midplane of these two surfaces. Based on that, we are going to make this TZ. There is a big difference between these two. Let's see this example. As we can see, we have two reference plane A and B. At the top, we can see we are going to check coplanarity of these two and based on the midplane we are going to check that midplane of A and B we are going to have two parallel surfaces with this distance 0 0.3 we make two parallel surfaces but in the middle we can see we are going to check the coplanarity of these two surfaces based on AB it means we are going to have a reference plane for that. We are going to make a mid plane for AB, and based on that, we are going to make two parallel surfaces, and these two wavy surfaces should be in that interval. Again, here, we are going to check coplanarity of these two surfaces. It should be in this TZ1. We are going to make mid plane of these two surfaces and then based on that we are going to make this TZ, these two parallel surfaces and then these two wavy surfaces should be in that interval. Let's add reference plane AB. Based on the mid plane of A and B we are going to make this AB surface, this blue, let's say blue color and then based on that we are going to check these two wavy surfaces. As we can see here at the bottom left, we can see these wavy surfaces can be in one side of this blue color. It cannot go through this blue plane. 
as we can see here, however, here it is not in that TZ, it is not acceptable surface, but it cannot go through this blue surface. If it go through that, it is not acceptable because AB plane is a reference. We are going to check flatness with respect to that surface. Here we have this example. Top left, we have this one called planarity of these two surfaces. And we have this TZ for the size. It means we have 0 0.04 here. And we are going to make two parallel surfaces based on the mid plane of these two surfaces. And then it should be in this interval, 0 0.06. Here we are going to check in the middle left, we are going to check copelanity of these two surfaces based on A. A has this TZ, has this size tolerance, as we can see here, 0 0.04. And the, let's say these two profiles should be in that interval, 0 0.006. It means this 0 0.006 can change can go up and down and rotate in that interval in this interval 0 0.04 in the bottom left we can see we are going to use the basic dimension it means we are going to contour that one by this by this tolerance zone it means these wavy surfaces for these two surfaces at the bottom should be in this interval and the size of that, this height should be also in that interval. This tolerance zone is going to implement for this size and also for this wavy surface and for this wavy surface. Here at the left, we have <coughs> this composite feature control frame. We have 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 respect to A for these two planes, as we can see, and we are going to use the basic dimension. As we can see, this basic dimension is going to control by 0 0.5. As we can see, we have 25.25 as a maximum height and 24.75 as a minimum height. And this 0 0.1, Based on the mid plane of these two surfaces, we are going to, to make this TZ. And the profile of these two surfaces should be in this interval, 25.25, 24.75. If I'm going to add reference A to 0 0.1, as you can see, top right, it means <coughs> we are going to control also the mid plane of these two surfaces. This, this, these two surfaces, the mid plane of these two, should be in a way, uh, in a way, not to tilt that much, and that should be in this tolerance, in 0 0.1. However, the size of this height is going to change the same as before, 25.25 as a maximum, 24.75 as a minimum. But somehow we are going to control the orientation of the mid plane of these two surfaces. Here, let's check what is going on here. Again, we are going to use the basic dimension and we have a reference plane for both of them. As we can see, this green one is going to show the tolerance zone for the mid plane it should be in that interval, as we can see these green, green lines here, the distance between these two green lines is 0 0.001, and the profile should be changing that one, and that can go up and down in this interval, 0 0.01, as we can see, because somehow we are going to control this height, it is basic dimensioning. Here, if I'm going to use just this black one for each surface separately, as we can see here, we are going to control the shape of this 
surface separately and this surface separately, not at the same time. If I'm going to use the, the blue color and write two surfaces for that, we are going to check the coplanarity of these two surfaces. As we can see, these two, let's say, blue color dash line, which is based on the mid, line, mid plane of these two surfaces, and mm, the wavy surfaces should be in that interval. If I'm going to use the green one, 0 0.003, respect to A, as we can see, this green dashed line, it means these two wavy, wavy surfaces should be in that interval. And however, we are going to control the, mm, the orientation of the mid plane of these two surfaces. And also here, if I'm going to use two of them at the same time, the top one is big one, uh, and we are going to control this height as well with that, as it is mentioned here, it is 0 0.004, and it is the, the tolerance for the size, and if you are going to use, for example, let's say the green color 0 0.003, it means that that green interval can rotate and go up and down between this red dash line. Yeah. For now, I would like to close this session regarding coplanarity. And in coming session, I'm going to use profile of surface for, let's say, cylindrical shape the same as pin or shaft. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.